Good morning, folks. My name is Jacob Folger, artist sculptor, and today we're going to be doing an abstract landscape painting, and we're going to be working on watercolor paper. I really like this paper, um, made by Tansen. It's an economical pa uh, paper, 140 pound, and uh, yeah, if you see this in the art store, pick it up. Uh, I like painting on paper because, um, well, for one thing, it's economical, but also, uh, it, uh, when you, after you paint with it, uh, it, uh, it doesn't, you know, you can sack the paint, uh, paintings, uh, and they don't, uh, stick together, which is really great. So I'm using, uh, some yellow okra here, uh, this is Stereo Series Acrylic. I'll share the paints with you as I go. Um... This is uh, yellow ochre. I'm just going to um, get my background. I want to like, get this. I use it as a background. Um, you know, mostly just to cover the paper. But also, uh, you know, it come, when it comes through uh, into the painting in the forefront, it, uh, it's just nice because it's a really nice warm hue. So, uh, now this paper will buckle a little bit, you see it's buckling, but that will go away after a few minutes. And, uh, I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, the paint has, it's a little tacky still, but it's, you know, it's dry enough. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get some black. This is, uh, artist lot paint. But also, mostly I use the uh, Studio Series Acrylic. That's a, my favorite. Or the, the one I use the most. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I've got some bright white I'm putting on here also. And some buff white. And I'm going to use these brushes. I got, I actually got them on M uh, let's see, eBay several years ago. I got a like a box of like 20 different brushes. They're actually oil brushes, but they work really great. And I'm just going to get a little bit of my brush and make sure you can see. This is, um, and I'm just going to start. Putting it uh, here for the sky. Just, uh, and getting the paint on there. Let's uh, get some water on there. A little bit of water. I've got a little bit of paper towel here. I'm going to crunch up and just, um, just started kind of working it in. So this, uh, this area is going to be kind of the sky. I'm going to, this down here is going to be the earth. Let's get that started. Okay. Just using the paper towel to, you can put it on with a brush and then uh, do your dabbing to get the texture. Um, piece here and uh, if I go like this and so I'm kind of 
patting and like rubbing a little bit. This gives a really nice uh, texture and it's achieved, you know, very simply really. And I've got, as you can see, the yellow okra from the background is coming through. Which is nice, it kind of adds to it. Pick up a little bit of black and... I darken that a little bit. paper towel and just kind of work that in. You see it makes it kind of a I like the kind of a stormy atmospheric you know, kind of feel. It's really kind of hard to mess it up, you know, really. Just play with it. You can add water to your paper towel. Let's get a little more buff white on here. And, uh, you know, when you're putting it on the paper towel, um, you know, just put it in a little bit, into the paint a little bit, and then just sort of kind of work it off a little bit so it's kind of subdued, and then use apply it. Might work out better for you. And I'm just really trying to be very loose with it, not just relax. where we're at there and that's you know really only a few minutes in and uh, now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to get a little bit of blue because I think it'll look really pretty if I put some of that in there so I'm gonna just uh, kind of Oh, got more base and blue in there. Okay, there we go. Just kind of lightly rubbing it. and textured there we go might make might make that a little bit darker there we go I think that's nice okay now what I'm gonna do is get one more black and we've got again the uh, oil brush is an oil brush I know this is acrylic paint they say not to paint with the oil brushes on acrylic paint but um, I have not experienced a problem yet and I'm going to paint in some trees now Make sure you can definitely see this. 
So. Now this uh, it's kind of really relaxed now, not stress out over it. I think I want a little bit smaller brush. I will say this, I, you know, I've done a lot of tutorials over the years, and mostly sculpture tutorials, and I have on my channel about 500 or so tutorials. I have a lot of people that have learned as a result of my tutorials, but there's a lot of people still that have not tried because they're afraid or it's a big thing. Really. A lot of people are really afraid to, you know, try uh, new things and uh, they're afraid they'll fail. It won't work. I make it look so easy and that sort of thing, but really this, it really is actually not hard and um, so I hope you will try as you can see so there's some trees and I think what I'm going to do is uh, just clean my brush a little bit with some water <clears throat> and I'm going to get a little bit of yellow okra on my palette which, by the way, if you're wondering, is the, my workspace is a card table. And because I'm getting older and it's hard to kind of bend over as much, um, I use actually a pizza box lifted up to work on. And then I, whenever I want to change that out, I can um, easily do that. So now I'm going to get a little bit of, oh, not black, I'm sorry. That was silly. And my brush again. Now I want yellow okra. And I'm just getting it kind of working into the brush a little bit. And what I'm going to do is just I, uh, highlight the side, a little bit of a tree here. And make it a little bit interesting. So I'm just putting a little bit of paint kind of on the right edge of the trees. This kind of adds a little bit to it. And it's, you know, it's not hard. It really is not hard. Uh, you yeah. know, obviously, you know, your painting might not be as nice as this one, or it might be better, who knows. But uh, usually, uh, your experience is going to be a little bit different than mine, but, you know, I paint every day, you know. If you paint every day, you'll get used to it. But I kind of like that there. I do uh, think, let's see if I can get a little bit more blue on here. I'd like to put some blue in the sky. So again, I don't, I, I want this to be very subdued, so uh, so I'm just going to get a little of my uh, paper towel and then sort of dab it out, dab it off a little bit and then just uh, go in and add some color to the sky. This makes it a little bit more interesting. Okay, so that is about it. You can see. Really nice, uh, colorful, subdued, abstract landscape painting. Uh, simply done. Uh, really not hard to do. Very easy to do. 
And uh, I'll tell you what, if uh, you leave me a comment, I will pick one name of all my comments and send an 8x10 uh, signed print of this painting to you. All you have to do is leave a comment. And uh, if you're interested in this kind of uh, subject, I, I actually have a lot of tutorials on sculpture, painting, and all kinds of things. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer, answer in the comment section. And uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.